After firing Hugh Jackson on Monday, the Cleveland Browns are now in the market for a new head coach. Joining me now is Josh Edwards of the Cleveland Browns on 24-7 Sports. Josh, who are a couple early head coaching candidates to watch in Cleveland? I think a few things you have to consider are the development of Baker Mayfield first and foremost, and just the familiarity that John Dorsey might have with some of these potential candidates. So I think you look at Oklahoma head coach Lincoln Riley, first of all. Riley is a guy that is very familiar with Baker Mayfield. The two have a relationship dating back to their days in Norman. Uh, Riley is one of the most innovative offensive minds at the collegiate level, and today he said that he does not have his eyes set on the NFL, but he was not willing to completely close the book. He added the term right now at the end of his statement in regards to whether he's interested in the Browns head coaching job. So that's something to look out for. You also have to look at Minnesota Vikings offensive coordinator John DeFilippo, a guy that has been an assistant for the Browns in the past. He's a guy that has some familiarity working with young quarterbacks. He did so with Carson Wentz in Philadelphia. That's the most important thing for Cleveland right now. Then you have to kind of look at some of these other relationships that Dorsey might have. You look back at Kansas City when he was the general manager of the Chiefs. You've got special teams coordinator Dave Tobe, a guy that is very well respected. It's a little unconventional to have a special teams coordinator become your head coach, but he's a guy that's very well respected and a name to listen for as we get closer to a decision. And then there's also some speculation that Los Angeles Rams head coach Sean McVay could be a possibility. McVay is from Dayton. He is a quarter, former quarterback at Miami of Ohio, but I think it's unrealistic to think that he would leave this, this rolling train that is the Los Angeles Rams right now for the mess that is Cleveland, despite his ties to the state of Ohio. Of course, he's also under contract, which would mean that Cleveland had to facilitate a trade to acquire him as well. So that seems very unrealistic. It's much more realistic that you get a Lincoln Riley, a Dave Tobe, um, one of these guys that has some familiar familiarity with Baker Mayfield and general manager John Dorsey.